I'm Lloyd Carney, I'm CEO of Brocade Communications. We're about 6,000 employees strong in over 40 countries worldwide, about two and a half billion US dollars in revenue. And we're a company most of you probably never even heard of. But if you use Facebook, do you use Snapchat, do you use WhatsApp, chances are our networking infrastructure enables you to use all those social media devices. I was born in Kingston, Jamaican. I went to Woolmas, I'm a Woolmarian, Woolmas boys. Went to Vaz Prep before that and came to the United States in 1979, February 24th, 1979 to be exact, to go to college and ended up getting a electrical engineering degree and getting a master's degree in business and I got my first job working in Boston. I've lived in Boston, I lived in California for a while, moved to Paris for a while, and then moved back to California where I live now in Silicon Valley. Growing up, I always knew I wanted a profession. You know, my grandfather was an entrepreneur, had multiple businesses, my father was an electrical engineer also. Well, I came to the U.S. and took my SATs, got accepted to MIT. You know, I was looking around and I wanted to go medical school and I looked at what that would cost and that was way too expensive. And then I looked at MIT, what that was going to cost, that was way too expensive. I ended up going to Wentworth Institute, got my electrical engineering degree there. It was having a core, good, solid education gave me choices, right? I could have gone to medical school. I could have become an electrical engineer. And, and so, you know, having good core skills coming out of high school in Jamaica gave me choices. With all the careers that are out there today, what would be the coolest thing that I would do? It'd probably do something around personalized medicine, around understanding the DNA structures. I think there's really exciting space there where you see computer science, electrical engineering coming together with traditional medicine to be able to provide a better solution going forward. The girls in technology ICT today is very important to all of us. I have a daughter, I have a wife, I have a mother. Um, you know, they're half the population. There is a, a broad plethora of, of jobs that require some kind of technical skill, technical aptitude. I mean, I'm sitting here and I have, you know, two ladies videotaping me here and they're fiddling with the sound volume and the light quality. And so there's the technical skills. And so we can't ignore half the population and expect to be successful. For young ladies who are trying to figure out what they want to do and, and choose the right path, I'd say dream big, but also understand that most people who enter colleges, they're not sure what they want to do. And for the ones who think they know what they want to do, half of those change your mind. So the best thing I'd say to you is get a good foundation, get good grades across a broad portfolio of, of topics and skills so that when you do go to college, you can change your mind. I mean, there are professions today that didn't exist 20 years ago. I'd say to all you young ladies, take advantage of this ICT day and this opportunity. Take advantage of the people who are here trying to help you. I found that there are more people in life who will try to help you than will try to hurt you. Make sure you surround yourself with those people. The best thing you can do to prepare yourself for those ups and downs is again to have, you know, as solid a foundation as possible. Grades really do matter. Getting into college, it really does matter, you know. Getting that first job, grades really do matter. So your job is to excel, work hard, and surround yourself with the right people who can help you move forward.